the partnership that we built with ITV is super exciting for us and hopefully for the entire industry. We're actually really happy to be, in our opinion, advancing the future of the ecosystem. And a lot of other broadcasters are taking inspiration from them as well. Essentially what ITV were trying to do was to offer their advertisers the best of both worlds. So the mass reach that they have through their linear offering and very, very targeted advertising on their ITV bought inventory, what they call the ITV hub. This is our most significant move into the TV space in, in EMEA and obviously we're rolling that in many other countries, not only in Europe, but also across the world. And it's a, it's a validation of the strategy that Moby set out to pursue about a year ago by acquiring Videology. Right, you know, there's brands that were born as digital native that are finally moving into TV, simply linear TV. And that's because they see the appeal of that medium, which is actually a very efficient medium to build your brand and to reach a lot of people. Uh, definitely the fact that a lot of that is now addressable is making it even more interesting for them because these brands are used to measuring incrementality of every single new medium that they throw into their marketing mix. And they couldn't really do that given the difference in measurements between TV and digital. That convergence is definitely attracting new budgets. Obviously there's convergence between the digital side and the traditional TV world. And the interesting thing is I think TV is moving into a new era of renaissance where we're actually giving that world a lot of credit for how efficient it is as a medium. I think for the last 10 years, I come from digital myself, and for the last 10 years we were trying to very badly shoehorn our measurements, our targeting into the TV guys, and the TV guys would often get back to us and say, no, thank you, I'm good, because uh, our, our systems are actually working in a very, very effective way. And now with the advent of the cookie-less world that everyone is worried about, for the first time we're starting to become a little bit more sober and a little bit more humble and look at the good things that the TV world is doing and how an entire industry has agreed to one single identity currency uh, and one single way of, of looking at, at audiences. And we're trying to bridge that into a digital world. At the same time, the TV world is evolving and bringing some of the data and the advanced targeting capabilities of the digital world into TV. So it's, we're entering a new era of, of common understanding and I think there's going to be a lot of learning crossing bridges. We built a platform that was designed for the TV world. And it's a very simple approach, but it's a very innovative one. And advertisers for the first time have the ability to address audiences across digital and TV. And that's fantastic for advertisers, as I said earlier, they have for the first time the ability of looking to consumers across that entire funnel. And that is going to make them more efficient, more effective, but also is going to be consumers, to be given consumers a much, much better journey. Um, we have invested quite significantly on this space. We have a lot of talent that actually comes from TV, probably more than any other company in, in the space at the moment. And we take a lot of pride in, in that because it's not easy to marry the upfront mentality with a kind of like real time digital world. And um, Forrester recently selected us as a leader in their new wave cross video advertising platform report. And we believe that's a really big validation of the fact that not only we're investing on that, but it's already out there and our clients are happy with it.